So having fresh breath is super important. A lot of people don't talk about this. And this is something that is uh, near and dear to my heart. I think a lot of guys out there need to know how to actually have fresh breath, especially when it comes down to interactions, when it comes down to business, your personal life and your dating life. These key aspects of having fresh breath can actually cost you a lot of deals. So from your business deals, your relationships, to your own personal self-respect. So I'm gonna show you guys how to have fresh breath. So here is a five-step process that I use. At the same time, you guys can apply this anywhere you guys go and let's begin. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of a modern man helping men with our styling, grooming, and health so you guys can optimize at the highest level at the same time helping out people around you. So if you guys are new to this channel, do yourself a favor and become a member of Arcway by just subscribing down below at the same time drop a comment. Also guys, check out all the other social medias because you guys will be seeing what goes on behind Arcway on a day-to-day -day basis. So the first thing I usually do when it comes down to having fresh breath is one, obviously brushing teeth right in the morning. I uh, hope you guys are doing that three to four times a day. So brush your teeth. So I use this electronic toothbrush. This is by uh, Oral-B and uh, it's just a uh, one battery electronic toothbrush so it's easy to use it's uh, adjustable at the same time you guys can change the nozzles of this so pick up one of these invest into it it's about 20 bucks you get them at walmart so brush my teeth is the first thing i do and then after that is i actually floss so you can floss before or after but you want to get in the crevices of your gums so this is actually where a lot of odors occur when you guys don't floss your teeth and the build up of bacteria leaves a bad smell. So the next step I usually do after I floss my teeth and I brush my teeth is actually using hydrogen peroxide. So this is something that my mentor taught me. And for this, you guys gotta be sensitive with this. For me, I actually got a stomach ache by taking this and I want you guys to be super cautious about taking this. So I usually take a shot of this, I swish it around my mouth. I probably have it in there for maybe 30 seconds. Make sure it gets around your teeth. At the same time, you spit it out when it gets all foamy. At the same time, you just leave it from there. So once you actually do that, it's going to be burning. And don't want you guys to be brushing your teeth while you're using this hydrogen peroxide. Because I've done that before. It kind of messes up your gum. This actually is used as a mouthwash as well. But you guys got to be very sensitive when it comes down to using this. Because it's going to strip away all that bad bacteria. At the same time, just that buildup of acid and the past food just really it really just scrapes a lot of bad bacteria and you kind of have to build up new bacteria throughout the next day so your tongue would be super sensitive and you your tongue actually kind of tastes like this stuff right here so yet again i probably would do this once a month i don't spend time on this too much um that's something i don't need to apply every day but this is a major factor within this video and something that can actually change your guys life um, when you use it correctly. So next thing I usually apply here is mouthwash. So having a mouthwash that can be super effective for you guys at the same time I use Crest. I actually had uh, Listerine in my cabinet right there but I switched to Crest. Um, this one right here is a multi protection. So so this one kills millions of germs that cause plaque buildup, gingivitis and bad breath. So get yourself something like Crest, something that is strong, um, something that does the job well this actually is with alcohol uh, I don't find my gums to be too um, sensitive when it comes down to these things so uh, if need be and you guys have sensitive gums go for the non-alcoholic version as well so get yourself some scope get yourself some crest gum is important when you're traveling when you're on the road uh, when you're in your car when you're at home have a stick of gum on you at all times uh, the biggest one I'll recommend is dentine ice black that is actually very very strong um, gum is not for your own personal use it is for your breath so Get yourself a dentine ice black that is pretty strong. So what I actually have in my car, and this is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis, this is the Mentos Pure Fresh. I think this is a peppermint green tea extract. So I use this, this is about 30 pieces in here. So this is what I use. I usually have about one a day, especially if I'm traveling or whatnot. So get yourself some gum. Um, yet again, dentine ice black. You can go for Mentos as well. If you guys have any recommendations of gum, 
or mouthwash that you guys been using or toothpaste as well put in the comment section down below i know a lot of guys out there would be interested in trying different things out so that would be useful at the end of the day guys i hope this video helped you guys out with having fresh breath because at the end of the day it will cost you your time your money at the same time it's all about saving and investing here so I hope this video helped you guys out. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys enjoy this content. If you guys want to see more men's health videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Yet again, guys, thank you guys for watching Arcway, a new direction of modern men, helping men with their styling, grooming, and health so you guys can optimize at the highest level at the same time, help out people around you. My name is Tulu, and I'll see you guys in the next video.